I'm Jordan Ostroff with Legalese Marketing, and this is how you create a form in Lawmatix. So we are in Lawmatix under Assets, we have Custom Forms, and up at the top we can create a new form. So when you create that new form, you can come up with a name, test for video. You can come up with a form type. It can go to matters, which means they'd have a matter created, or it can go to clients or contacts, which means they don't have to have a matter created. For our purposes, we're just gonna select matter, not a huge difference. What is a huge difference, however, is if it's for internal use, yes or no. So this would be no, it's for external use. This would be it's for internal use. Um, if it's for external use, it is easier to host it somewhere. Somebody does not have to have access to your Lawmatics to fill out the form. If it's for internal use, they would have to log into your system, but you can do certain things on internal forms that you can't on external. So we're gonna do an internal form just to go over that. So when it comes up, it will have first name. You've got all your standard fields over here that you can pull and you're just gonna drag and drop. First name, last name, uh, email, phone number, and you can go up to three across on the form, can't go more than that. Email, phone number, but you can go down to one. Can't go below that, obviously. So then you've got the opportunity for your matter custom fields, because it was a matter form. Had we have picked client, um, it, would have been, it wouldn't have had the matter custom fields, but it would still have contact custom fields, company custom fields, so you can have information about a company, especially helpful for business lawyers. You can also create blocks, where in essence you're putting together a series of these already, or relationship blocks. So for example, we have one for an opposing party. And so what this does is this creates a linked contact to this matter that is the opposing party with all the information over here. And you can edit these by clicking right there and it will take you to a page. And so uh, by clicking on that edit button before, it takes you over here and I can drag and drop individual fields in here. So if I don't care about the opposing party's address, can take their driver's license out, their social security. And save block, save and close. And now that has updated to only be asking for the opposing parties, first name, last name, phone, email. And again, you can make it with whatever fields you want. And the more you build those blocks, either up here, if they're regular blocks or down here in relationship blocks, the more you don't have to recreate the same things. So I would highly suggest putting together some sort of block that's first name, last name in the right format, phone and email, because you're pretty much gonna want that on every single form. So here under advanced, this is where we get to the benefits of an internal form. Because it's an internal form, I can do contacts and create other contacts. I can book appointments in here. Um, those will be your two biggest things. So if you need to be able to book like an internal, an intake form, an initial contact consult form where you'd get information from the client and then book them for an appointment that would have to be an internal form, meaning anybody filling that out would have to have access to your Lawmatics account. So as you can see up here, this is an internal form listed as yes. You cannot change internal to external forms by yourself once it's done. That's gonna cause some issues. You have to leave them there. So you may have to recreate a form, which again is why I suggest you do the blocks because the more that you block things over and over again, the easier it is to take those internal forms to external and vice versa. So you may have an intake form that books the consult that is internal, and then you might send an exact copy of that form to the client that is external, which allows the client to confirm all their information. And so in a nutshell, that's how you put a form together. I'm gonna to show you what you can do with forms to get crazier. So this is the one that we use when we're doing our CRM build outs for clients. So this would be pre-filled with their information based upon it, and we walk through the normal use of how we do the CRM builds. So if there are edits, I have this listed as conditional language. So when this becomes yes, it goes through what other information we need to change the intake part of the pipeline. For over here, you know, they can upload intake forms already. We can do, that's a file upload under the other field. If you've got a need for um, copy already written, you can upload it here. So a lot of things like that where other fields will trigger off of some specific fields. So if you have the phone and Zoom consults, you're doing different information. It asks for information that's different between the two of them, things like that. You can really get specific with these forms. You just really have to start at the beginning, making sure that they are internal or external. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.